Hello everyone, this is Prasad Banerjee from Digit.in. So we've got with us the Xiaomi Mi 4. It has finally been launched in India. There's been a lot of talk about this phone. This phone was launched in China around the same time that the Mi 3 was launched in India. So it has been a long time coming, but you have to realize that Xiaomi had originally said that this phone will come to India in December or late January. So they have stuck to their deadline in a way. So overall looking at the phone, it's got everything. The specs on paper are top class and at $19,999, it's still the cheapest Snapdragon 801 powered device you can buy. But is it really worth the price? Because Xiaomi devices so far have not had much competition. This one on the other hand has names like the Huawei Honor 6, the OnePlus One and your Lenovo Vibe X2 to compete with. So let's find out if it's worth the price. So moving on to the display now, this phone has a 5 inch 1080p display which automatically makes the pixel density pretty good. That means images will look sharp. What we found uh, really interesting is that even though this is an IPS display, the colors are really warm in this. Something on the lines of what you've seen in a Moto X or a Samsung which are both AMOLED displays. If you like displays like this, if you like warm displays, then you will actually quite like the Mi 4's display. But if you don't like these displays, then again, you may not like it. So the Xiaomi Mi 4 also launches Mi UI 6 in India. It's going to come to the company's other phones soon, but the Mi 4 is the first to get the Mi UI 6 in India. Just like Windows does for displays, MIUI 6 also adds a lot to the display. The colorful nature of the UI itself uh, makes the display look better. Uh, one thing you have to note here is that MIUI 6 is a lot like iOS. Yes, it has got features similar to iOS. But that said, the UI still has its own personality. If you have used MIUI 5, you would already know that, uh, you know, this uh, UI has a lot of customization features and it gives you a lot of control over your phone. What MIUI 6 does is that it adds color to this and focuses more on the visual aesthetics of the phone. So overall we quite like MIUI 6 but then again you are not going to get uh, much new features in this. If you do enjoy the colorful nature of the UI then you will like it. So the most important part about any Xiaomi phone is of course the performance. This phone runs on the Snapdragon 801 processor which is uh, you know the flagship processor for the last generation. So that automatically gave, you know makes you want good performance. So the phone has two uh, modes. You can change from the balance mode to the performance mode. So the thing here is that the balance mode will throttle down your processor to 300 megahertz while uh, the performance mode will just let it go up to 2.5 gigahertz so of course if you're gaming and everything then you would want to use the performance mode while in other cases you would use the balance mode the balance mode also allows you to churn some extra battery life out of the phone on benchmarks this phone com compares pretty well with its uh, competitors and 2 2 scores are pretty much the same as its competitors, nothing really bad. And one thing here though is that the Mi UI 6 is pretty resource intensive. Out of the 3 GB RAM on this phone, we never could get more than 1.5 GB free. And that is a little disheartening because, you know, it, it leaves that question whether the device would have performed even better had there been more RAM and had the UI been less resource intensive. Overall, the performance is not bad, but then again, yes, this Mi UI thing is a little small hurdle. So let's talk about the battery now. The Mi 4 has a 3100 mAh battery, which on paper should be enough for this phone. But uh, while the balance mode does allow you to churn out some extra battery life, the Mi 4 has its one big weakness in the battery segment. Compared to the OnePlus One and the Honor 6, this phone's battery is definitely not enough. On our regular usage, we couldn't get it to last one day. In fact, uh, on our battery tests also, this phone lasts five and a half hours when uh, the Honor 6 lasts 10 hours and the OnePlus One lasts uh, just over nine hours. So you can see that on this battery front, this phone is a little behind. Also, it starts losing battery and heats up uh, when you put it on performance mode. So that's something you'll have to figure out. Overall, we couldn't get more than about uh, eight hours at best after 
uh, doing a lot of permutation combinations between the balance and performance modes. We had also loved the camera in the Xiaomi Mi 3 when it has launched. This phone also has a 13MP camera like that. But to be honest, we like the Mi 3's camera better. The Mi 4 camera comes with Mi UI 6, so the app is uh, in some ways better. The autofocus dot that you get, that also doubles up as an exposure control, which will be really, really good if you like manual control on your camera. That said, without that manual control, if you shoot pictures just on auto, they do tend to come out a little overexposed often. So this may be a problem for people who prefer their phone camera to be completely point and shoot type. But if you do like the manual control over the camera, there's a lot in Mi UI 6 that you can get. You can control everything from exposure to white balance to a lot of other things. So overall, the camera is quite good. But if you like point and shoot type cameras, then the Honor 6 is a better camera. So is the Mi 3. So looking at the Mi 4, it's definitely a value for money device. But the thing is with 16 GB internal memory and no memory card slot, that is a deal breaker for us. If you have a below 20K budget, you have your Huawei Honor 6, which costs 17999 and you know offers you expandable memory and has a better camera, especially good for somebody who prefers a point and shoot type uh, photo, uh, you know, camera, which can still take good pictures. But, uh, and also if you have a slightly higher budget, you can go for the 64 GB OnePlus One, which is again a Snapdragon 801 powered device. So overall, the Mi 4 doesn't quite offer the same value as its competitors, which is why we won't really recommend that you buy this. But again, if 16 GB internals, internal memory is good for you, then go ahead and knock yourself out.